I'm Randy Vance, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Life Magazine. I'm testing the Sailfish 30-06 Express Cruiser. Here's a boat with great fishing features, all you need for long-range cruising, and a lot of potential for family fun. Our test boat was equipped with Yamaha F250 outboards, turning Saltwater Series 2 15 and a quarter by 19 inch props. We reached a top speed of around 48 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Ideal cruising speed on this rig was at 4,000 RPM, 30 miles per hour, where we got nearly 1.5 miles per gallon. The variable dead rise hull on the Sailfish 30 out 6 gives a sharper entry at the bow, and the higher up on plane you're riding, the higher the dead rise, giving a good soft ride even at speed. Yet at lower speeds, when the boat settles down in the water, the dead rise widens out, giving a more stable footprint at low speeds and at rest. What makes an express an express is the ability to live down below in the cabin area. We liked the way this was laid out and thought it was very livable. There's a midship's cabin that gives a double berth for two. Forward, the V berth also converts to two bunk beds in addition. The galley on board has a Corian surface, a sink with hot and cold water, microwave, a stove, and a refrigerator. No long range cruising boat would be without a roomy head. This one has a large fiberglass compartment and a flushing toilet. The faucet on the fiberglass sink also doubles as a shower when you put it up in the rack overhead. Now the helm station is set up very nice. You've got a flip up bolster here and a tilt wheel. That lets you adjust this for the ideal position whether you're driving sitting down or standing up. We like the Yamaha digital instrumentation. They're all easily adjustable to tell you anything you want to know about the engine running characteristics and fuel flow on your boat. Also, you've got a digital touchpad that runs all the electrical devices, and there's an LED that tells you positively when they're on or off. That's a really nice setup. This boat's equipped with a windlass, and one thing I really like about it is the Lenco trim tabs. If you're running with your tabs down, as soon as you turn the motor off, the tabs automatically go back to zero position, so you're not starting the boat out in an awkward way. Now you may be planning to use your Sailfish 30-06 for hardcore fishing. It's an enormous fighting cockpit back here and it's equipped to fish. You've got tow rails under the gunnels. You can hook your toes under, lean over to gaff a fish and fight your fish. We like the fact that we've got hangers here to keep the cannonballs from your downriggers safe. Another nice thing, you've got a large live well here. It's round and it's lighted so even at night fishing you can find your bait. There's plenty of rod holders. You've got two shotgun holders in the center four more on the transom and four on the gunnels as well. For storage, there's three rod racks under each gunnel giving you a place to stow six rods out of the way. Here's another great thing. Look at the way the fish box lids hold back with a magnetic catch. That's a very nice touch. One of the things that makes a boat a pleasure to use is dedicated storage. That's why we like this system here for keeping your lures and tackle all organized. Here's two racks for your leader material. This will hold utility boxes. You've got a bait station here with a freshwater sink, a place to hang knives and tools, and look at this. Over here, you've got a drawer system to keep all kinds of gear, and you've got these tubes to hold trolling lures in. That's a nice setup. Now, if you're just into the riding part and the relaxing part, there's a nice jump seat up here for you. This one also faces back. It gives you seating for two or three. There's another nice convenience we found up here. It's a storage compartment. It's got a water-resistant grommet on it that helps keep things inside dry, but it's an ideal place for palms, telephones, and MP3 players. We like the Sailfish 30-06 for long-range cruising, serious fishing, and family fun. This one can even be equipped with an optional Westerbeek Gen Set to make it ideal for living away from the dock for a couple of days.